graphics animation isn't just moving words, it's storytelling. Today, I will show you three text animations you can do in less than five minutes. First, create new composition and select preset 3840 by 2160. Now here, I'm gonna add three different text layers. So my first one will be learn to create. My second text will be smooth and my third will be text movements. But of course, you can add whatever you want. Now for the third part, I'm gonna space these out and you'll understand why later on. So now I'm gonna align my text. So it's easier to use whole numbers. So I'm gonna use 900, 1700 here. So my second word smooth, I'll make that 1700 as well. And I'll round this number up to 2600. Now, since I made that 2600, I will make this 2600 and I'll round up the other number to a whole number, 900. Now we've got all that done, we can begin with our text effects. Our first one will be a fade in effect. So with our first text, we are gonna create a mask. So first we're gonna select the rectangle tool and go over our text. The next we're gonna create a keyframe, but before we do that, we're gonna select our rectangle tool and drag it back like so. Create a keyframe, drag it a couple frames ahead, and then we're gonna drag our rectangle back onto our text. Change the feather to 90, and now we're gonna play it back, and this is what it'll look like. Now once that's done, we're gonna go to text movements and do a scale text effect. So under transform, we're gonna keyframe scale with three seconds into our timeline, and then move it a couple frames ahead and move our scale to about 120. So the next part, we're gonna make this 3D. So we're gonna click that button there to make it 3D so we can get the X and Y axis. Now we're gonna keyframe it, move a couple frames ahead, and we're gonna just alter our X and Y axis to whatever you want. So I'm gonna keyframe it again, and then I'm gonna go the other way. So one last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna smooth out our animation. So we're gonna select our first two keyframes, press F9, press F9 to easy ease, and then the graph editor. Now adjust the curve handles to manually for custom easing. So we can create a smooth animation. Once that's done, now we're gonna do it to the rest of our keyframes. Now, once that's all completed, let's see what our current progress is. So our next step, we're gonna select all our text layers, right click and pre-compose. So now we're gonna go back to composition, click on composition settings and change our preset back to 1920 by 1080. So now I'm gonna find our first text and align it in the middle. So now we're gonna go in position, set a keyframe, and we're gonna move our image to our next text. So from here, we're going learn to create to smooth. So we're gonna move our time frame a little bit ahead, set another keyframe. Then we are going to go from smooth to text movement. So now we're gonna play it back. And this is what it currently looks like. There's definitely some adjustments we need to make. So once that's all sorted, we're gonna select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, then click on the graph icon so we can smooth out our transitions. Now we're gonna play it back. So it still needs more adjustments. Half the time, you, you're really just playing around with the timeline and doing a bit of adjustments here and there. That's just all part of editing. And once that's all done, this is the final result.